Welcome to the WHHI TV Daily News. As always, there's a lot to cover in the Low Country today. I'm Betsy McDaniel, and we'll get started with a few headlines. Well, the first associate of Alec Murdoch has been sentenced to jail. His ex-banker Russell Lafitte getting a seven-year sentence on federal bank fraud charges, which helped Murdoch steal millions of dollars from his clients. Judge Richard Gurgel called Lafitte's actions over an eight-year period one of the state's most notorious financial crimes. Prosecutors were looking for a 10-year sentence, but Lafitte's family and friends offered emotional testimony about his previous community service and advocacy for the economically depressed Hampton County. He was also ordered to pay back $3.5 million in restitution to Palmetto State Bank and to Murdoch's old law firm. Some good news for the high school class of 2024, even before their senior year begins. The University of South Carolina has announced that the top 10% of every class in the state will be guaranteed admission to the school. Officials at USC say there are, there are still pockets of the state where students are not applying to the school, even though they are strong students. Only about half of that top 10% statewide apply to USC, with numbers lower the further away from Columbia a student lives. USCB and the other four-year colleges in the USC system will guarantee admission to the top 20% of high school graduating classes. Speaking of back to school, some teachers may tread a little bit lightly going back into their classrooms in the next few weeks as some have been harassed by parents on social media and in person for displaying rainbow stickers and giving students a survey asking about their preferred pronouns, a practice that has been in place for several years. The Island Packet reports the harassment appears to be coming from the same people who are seeking book bans in the Beaufort County schools. The Sheriff's Office is investigating and is considering a no trespass order against one of the parents. Meals on Wheels of Bluffton and Hilton Head has issued a critical need for volunteers to drive routes on Hilton Head, Bluffton, and Sun City. There has been a recent increase in clients needing the meals provided by the organization. Volunteers can choose a day to deliver weekly or monthly and must have their own car. In addition to delivering meals, volunteers are tasked with making sure the clients are well and able to remain living independently. There is also a need for help in the mornings with food prep. Head to mowbluftonhiltonhead.org for more information. Looking to make air travel a bit easier for yourself by enrolling in the TSA PreCheck program? Well, the Beaufort County Executive Airport has been hosting an enrollment event this week, but you still have until Friday, August 4th to get it done. Hours are from 9 to noon and then again from 1 to 5 p.m. Those interested should head to 39 Airport Circle in Beaufort. Be sure to have proof of identity, proof of citizenship, fingerprints, and a photo, and $78 $70 excuse me, with you. If approved, travelers will get their known traveler number in about three to five days, and it will last for five years. And once again, nobody won the Mega Millions jackpot of over a billion dollars Tuesday night, though a handful of people got really close. There were seven tickets that matched all the white balls and just missed the Mega Millions yellow ball. Those tickets win a million dollars. The closest winning ticket to us was sold in North Carolina. And one of those seven tickets bought the Mega Plier and won $4 million. Friday's drawing will be worth at least $1.25 billion. The media sources on your screen will have more on these and other stories, and we would love for you to like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram at WHHITV. And if you have an idea for a news story, we'd love to hear it, so drop us a line at news at WHHITV.com. Justin Jarrett is off today, so we're going to hand it over to Maria for a look at our weather. Thanks, Betsy. Yep, so taking a look ahead, it does look like we see some more scattered thunderstorms throughout the area throughout the rest of this week and into the weekend. Also, as we get into the weekend, the temperatures are going to climb back into the 90s. So taking a look at Thursday, it's going to be sunny to partly cloudy with a couple of thunder showers throughout the afternoon, but should be clearing up by the evening. Hill Nets give a high of 86, a low of 76. Bluffton's also going to have a high of 86, a low of 76. And Buford's going to have a high of 87 and a low of 74. The sunrise for Thursday is going to be at 639 and sunsets going to be at 818. Taking a look at the beach tides, high tide is going to be at 1115 a.m. and low tide is going to be at 622 p.m. Taking a look into the rest of the week and into the weekend, Friday it's going to be cloudy with a couple of heavy thunderstorms starting in the afternoon and they're going to continue on into the evening. Highs in the 80s, lows in the 70s. Come Saturday it's going to be cloudy again with scattered thunderstorms throughout the day but should be clearing up by the evening. Highs in the upper 80s, lows in the 70s. And then come Sunday it's going to be cloudy with scattered thunderstorms throughout the afternoon and again it should be clearing up by the evening. Highs are going to get up into the 90s, lows stay in the 70s. That's it for today. Let's head back to the desk. Thanks, Maria, and we'll be back in a moment with a chat with Mayor Perry. Don't go away.